And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. A bit of a muggy night to say the least with temperatures still holding on into the mid to upper 70s. We're at 86 earlier on today. It was a degree above average for this time of the year. Well below the record high, but 76 still at this hour. Winds from the south 5 miles per hour. The heat index still holding on the temperatures near the 80 degree mark throughout much of the viewing area. You can feel it out there, certainly on the sticky side this evening. 76 right now in Rochester, 73 Remington, 74 right now in Williamsport. But we are going to be seeing those temperatures take a little bit of a tumble down towards the upper 60s. Nonetheless, temperatures remain above average overnight and above average for at least the next three to four days. Here's why. We have a core of high pressure off to the east. In fact, it's a complex of higher pressure centralized over parts of Pennsylvania as well as West Virginia, but spreading throughout much of the northeastern seaboard. And as this pushes further off to the east, it's going to help pull some of that moisture, some more of the southerly wind flow in from the Gulf. And that's going to drive that moisture and that heat back up towards Greater Lafayette. Off to our west, you can see this nice complex of spinning right here, representing another low pressure system. That's over parts of the Dakotas as well as central Canada. And as that low churns its way northeastward, that will pull a cold front a little bit closer to the region, also helping to bring that southerly wind flow in from the Gulf states, the southern United States, driving temperatures higher here at home along ushering in more of that humidity. The warm front off to the north of us now meaning that those southerly winds are really uh, going to continue to roll across the region, bringing more of that moisture and scattered cloud cover. We stay dry overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, but you can see that rainfall just off to the west of us, the cold front there as well. Eventually, that will bring rain chances back to the region tomorrow afternoon. The overnight hours, we fall off to around 67 in West Lafayette, 66 in Romney, 67 degrees in Delphi tonight. In your snapshot forecast, Kelly Goodman sending in the beautiful backdrop this evening. 67 degrees by 6, falling off to 70, or I should say warming up to 74 by 10 a.m. Southerly winds throughout the morning. We stay mainly clear throughout the morning hours. It's the afternoon. We see more of the cloud cover and that chance of rain. Maybe a couple isolated showers around your lunch hour. For the most part, the first half of the day remains dry. It's after about 3 to 4 p.m. that we begin to see a line of showers and storms pop up, reaching our western counties by about 5 p.m., pushing eastward into the region and bringing the potential, yes, for some severe weather. A marginal risk for severe weather for the entire viewing area tomorrow. We'll have temperatures reaching the upper 80s, low 90s. 90 here in West Lafayette. It's the heat and humidity that will generate some of those stronger storms, generating maybe some small hail, gusty winds associated with the storms tomorrow afternoon. Additional chances for severe weather on Wednesday, possibly even on Thursday as the cold front finally pulls through the viewing area, dropping temperatures from 86 Thursday afternoon back down to 79 degrees by Friday. Mostly sunny skies to wrap up your work week. Okay, so again, this week we have to get through the storms to get yeah. to the good weather. Yeah, we really do, you know, <laughs> and it does look like we may luck out this week and maybe a couple isolated showers throughout the weekend, but for the most part, much drier and cooler. Okay, that's good news. Yeah. Thank you, Karen.